on your Android, go to the Play Store and download Steam Link. Now go to your PC and in your PCSX2 we're going to disable automatic updates and hide cursor in full screen. Go to the interface, settings interface. Then here at the game display enable hide cursor in full screen. And at the bottom disable enable automatic update check. If you want to check for updates manually you can click on this button here. Or you can go back and go to the help tab and check for updates. You can also change some graphic settings. Any of these settings are optional, they're just my preference. You can use 720p, I think that's enough if you're playing on your phone, maybe on a tablet. You could go to 1080p. Now go to your Steam, go to Steam, Steam settings, then go to the remote play settings and make sure enable remote play is turned on. Then go back or close the settings and go to your library. We're going to add PCSX2 as a non-Steam game search for the uh, pcsx2.exe then add selected programs then click on the pcsx2 with the right mouse button on top of it and go to properties here you can change the name to pcsx2 which looks better and here at the launch options we're going to add two parameters the first one is big picture and the second one is icon Ooh. screen now when you open PCSX2 it will open in the big picture mode which is a setting that PCSX2 has and will open in full screen automatically. We can go ahead and test this out. It's, you can see it's working as planned. Go to your phone and open up Steam Link. When you open Steam Link for the first time, it will show a message for you to allow Steam Link to find, connect to and determine the relative position of nearby devices. This will detect computers in your home that are running Steam. Get started. Scanning for your computers. And it should detect your computers by default. And here, if you click on top of your PC, it will ask for a pin for you to insert in your PC. And then you insert the pin that is showing on your phone or on your mobile device. Confirm. It will now test for your bandwidth. Or do a test for your bandwidth. Now you can click on start playing. Then go back to your library. Go to non Steam games and open PCSX2. As you can see, it boots in the big picture mode. Then you can go to your game list 
and you can play wherever you want. Before doing anything else, we're going to configure our PCSX2 controllers. This is only for the touchscreen controllers. If you're using a physical controller connected to Bluetooth or a cable, you can skip this part of the video. On your PC, grab your mouse and go to settings. It's easier if you're doing this on your PC. This is a one time only. Don't need to do this every time. Then go to the controller icon at the top. I recommend disconnecting any controller from your PC and from your phone or mobile device. So PCSX2 will only detect the touchscreen controllers. Scroll down to until you see automatic mapping and choose controller. In this case, it's Xbox 360. For Windows, this is the touchscreen controller. Now, your controllers are configured. You can go ahead and play a game. Every, everything should be working correctly. But as you can see, we're missing buttons on our touchscreen controllers. We don't have the uh, we don't have the sticks or the uh, R1 and R2. You can go ahead and press the Steam button to go to options, and this will direct you to, to the controller settings. And press A. Hey, we're going to download a layout that I, I, I already made. Then go to the gamepad here at the top. Then go to the community layouts. If it's not showing here at the first three layouts, you can press the X button to show more layouts. For me, it's showing at the top because it's the one I did. Then download the uh, PCSX2 gamepad for mobile touchpad. Press the A button or download, then press the X button to apply the layout, then go back here as you can see all the buttons are showing up then you can load the game and as you can see the stick buttons are working and the direction pad is working too to go to the PCSX2 pause menu, you can click here at the top in the Steam icon button. If you hold the button, it will go to the Steam options, but if you press if you press it lightly, it will show a Hask button here and then you can press it to access the PCSX2 pause menu and from here you can go to settings save states, load states, and close the game. So you can choose other games. After connecting a Bluetooth controller or a controller with a cable to your phone, if the touch screens are, sti are still showing up, you can go to the top left three dot menu Go to the turn off icon and here you can disable touch controls. Now to configure the PCSX2 controllers, go to your PC and grab your mouse. It's easier to do on your PC. Then go to settings. Here at the top controller icon, press on top of it. Then scroll down until you see automatic mapping. In automatic mapping, choose your Bluetooth controller and everything should be mapped correctly. Then go here to the right. This is the hotkey settings. And here, scroll to the top and in the open pause menu, we're going to change the shortcut to L1, L2 and R3. The right stick button then everything should be set correctly and ready to go. Go to your game list and choose any game that you want to play. 
now you can play your PCSX2 with Steam Link on your phone. To access the PCSX2 pause menu, press the L1, R2, uh, press the L1, L2, press the L1, L2, and the R3 buttons. R3 is the right stick button, and from here you can go to close game, exit and save state, exit without saving back you can go to settings game properties resume game and you can choose any other game from your list or you can exit pcsx2 i always recommend closing pcsx2 here before stopping the stream that's it for this video thank you for watching and happy gaming